Over 3,000 years before Christ, in what we refer to as the Early Bronze Period, peoples of what is now the Israeli region of Golan Heights began the construction of a masterpiece, an envisioned maze-type structure consisting of concentric circles. When we look at this envisioned monument today, we can't help but wonder where these people might have gotten the idea for such an undertaking and indeed, was this envisioned or is it based on something else they may have been trying to copy? No similar structures are found in the Near East that remotely resembles the structure, so this thing is a complete one-off. We get the name of the site as Rujum el Hiri, and this name is devised from ancient Syrian maps. In Arabic, this term roughly translates as a place where humans are buried. And the consensus is that this was a site of ritual sacrifice, and Hebrew translation seems to clarify this. In Hebrew, this was known as the Wheel of the Ghost. However, no human remains have ever been recovered, and some say it was the place of the wild cat the wildcat circling its prey. First cataloged in 1967 by Claire Epstein as a place of major archaeological importance, it is pretty strange it only became known to us at this time because it's sitting in plain sight, only becoming apparent with the birth of aerial archaeology. But to this day, no major excavations have reached the site except in the 1980s and early 90s when efforts were made to excavate on a small scale, however, no material remains were recovered from the site and no clear consensus exists regarding its function. It's a mystery of history. Up to a astonishing 50,000 basalt blocks make up the megalithic mount. The ancient architects arranged this piece in concentric circles, some closed, some with openings, and they built it on a mound, which is 15 feet tall. At the center of the circle is a kern, an irregular heap of stones. It is 25 meters in diameter and preserved to a height of 6 meters. The kern consists of a central mound of stones surrounded by a lower belt, which gives it the appearance of a stepped, truncated cone. A geophysical survey using ground penetrating radar revealed the pile of stones to be hollow. A built burial chamber with a narrow corridor leading to it was discovered there. The chamber is round, roughly 2 meters in diameter, built of large stone plates arranged on top of each other, but slightly slanting inward and it was covered by two massive slabs of basalt, each weighing over 5.5 tons, which created a semi-corbelled dome over the burial chamber. The openings or gates align with the summer solstice, drawing comparisons with the ancient site and with that of Stonehenge. In the historical context, this place of Rujam el Hiri is older than Stonehenge. Other notches in the walls indicate the spring and fall equinoxes, and the walls seem to have pointed to star risings for the period, and may have been predictors of the rainy season a crucial bit of information for the sheep herders of the Bashan Plain in 3000 BC. The fact is that the thousands of stones carefully laid in concentric circles must have been the effort of many clans or tribes working in harmony under some kind of unified leadership and to a pre-arranged plan. According to the latest researchers, this all happened in Chalcolithic times when men worked in copper and stone some 6,000 years ago, and comparisons can be made with the passageways of the circles with that of the incredible megaliths found on the Orkney Islands of Scotland. According to calculations by Naomi Porat, the entire construction would have taken a workforce of 200 men 25,000 days to complete the project. This mobilization of so many members of a society for a prolonged period requires a large local population capable of providing the site with the necessary workforce. Moreover, this local population must be socially organized to an extent that enables such mobilization, whether voluntary or not. Taking into account the archaeological evidence from the megalithic monuments of Western Europe, this is not necessarily a developed state system with a rigid hierarchy, but rather a chiefdom-like society 
consisting of extended families or clans, possessing at least a primitive form of administration and regulatory mechanisms, and this is exactly what we see later on in Scotland, so similarities do exist across time and places. Yuri Berger, an expert on megalithic tombs from the Israeli Antiquities Authority states, This is an enigmatic place. We have some information, but not the whole picture. Scientists come and are amazed at this place and then invent their own theories. Dr. Noam Ladar, the INPA's chief ecologist, is a self-confessed strange place freak and is therefore smitten with Rujim El Hiri. The uniqueness of the place, he explains, lies less in the scientific aspect and more in the story, meaning it has tremendous potential. He says the story is historical and astronomical, but also broader and deals with the open spaces in the Golan, which are under threat due to agricultural development and the wind turbines. He believes that preserving these spaces is a vital task for Israel's environmentalists. Some say it was built by giants, that it is an ancient observatory. Others suggest it was a place for a human burial or sacrifice. Whatever it is, it was of major importance and certainly something we are struggling to understand. A stargate to a different dimension, perhaps. What do you guys think this place was constructed for 5,000 years ago? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching. Hey guys, this is Buzz Weaver, the voice of the Lost History Channel and Light Up the Dark. I wanted to remind those who may not be aware that I have my own YouTube channel. Unlike the Lost History Channel or Light Up the Dark, I cover current events, gaming, how-to, PC peripherals, and supplement reviews. I'm nearing 6,000 subscribers and with your help, I think I can reach that goal. I'd like to thank all of you who support the Lost History Channel and Light Up the Dark as YouTube continues to make changes to the platform and with your support and a very encouraging indicator that you guys enjoy the hard work that is put into bringing you this unique content. So thank you guys so very much. It is greatly appreciated.